Hello everyone, I'm Casper Kuma, and welcome to the Coffin of Andy and Lele. Lele, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over there and get to, to with you. <laughs> I thought she was your friend. Mom said you'd help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. God, Andy, don't be such a little baby. Good morning, Ashley. Ugh. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go. Oh, this art style is so cute. And we look very miserable. Oh, the video games. Oh my god, it's white noise. How thrilling. Who wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you've got entertainment like this? This place is a mess. What's these smudges? Blood? It's just some dirt. Okay, good. <laughs> this is where you and your older brother pl pile of trash. It's already been scavenged several times, and it's truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait, what is that? Got a can of tomatoes. Amazing, you should show that to your brother. I'm concerned about our living space. Does that mean we don't have parents? It's just some dirt. Why are we eating out of the trash? You're used to filling your stomach with water. But it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance. Hmm. Uh, this is suspicious. Junk and unpaid bills. They cannot be eaten. I mean, anything can be eaten if you tried hard enough. A lone trash bag. Nothing worth mentioning is inside. Hmm. Where's my brother? Are we gonna eat my brother? Oh, God. Whatever. Just leave it. Well, that's not very responsible of you. But then again, I don't think you care. Hmm. Let's go this way. Oh, there you are, my miserable little blob. You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! Ugh. Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should just hold on to it for a little longer. Quiet, uh, quit your complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so you're clearly not dying yet. Huh? How did you know that it was in... Because I hid it there, away from you. <gasps> I live in a den of snakes. Ugh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth, I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them then. Screw our future selves. Oh god. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. Why are we dying in here? Why Why do we have no food? What is happening? Can, got anything? Your trash? In the trash lies your hopes and dreams. Exactly where they belong. Oh, well. Can we eat this plant? No. Dirty laundry. I mean, even if we're like, if we possibly killed our parents, we could still leave and go steal food. You already committed murder, what's the problem? <laughs> Good day, are you still alive in there? Oh, it's prison. <laughs> That's the problem. Hello, if you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't want to- and I don't bring food for the dead. <laughs> that was fast. You don't bring it to the living, either. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check in on you again. Later. Bye. No, wait. Wait, come back. He doesn't. God damn it. Oh, so we are in prison. Okay, that explains a lot. Well, we can cook t some tomatoes, though. Ugh. You boil the ca canned tomatoes to make deliciously boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of paper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. You used all of it to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Oh. Well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms, and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kick ass. Oh, kiss ass. <laughs> no, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. 
It is in th that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Are you kidding me? The neighbor's at it again? Wanna go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Do we live next to clowns or something? Like, why is it circus music? Here, catch. Got balcony key. Let's go throw things at him. From the balcony. Unlock the balcony door. Huh. Hmm, I can't really see squat from here. Have a party over there? They probably have nachos. We should jump. You should contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Ashley, don't you even think about it. Uh, he's no fun. Guess you'll have to set something up to cross. Haven't you always wanted to do that, though, whenever you're on your balcony and you, like, can see the other one? Like, don't you ever just want to try... <laughs> try crossing by jumping? But you'll probably die, so it's best if you don't. Man, they're loud. Can we drink the bleach? <laughs> Just saying. Detergent. Drinking this gets more and more tempting every day. Well, I'm just saying. It's a washing machine. Man, they're loud. Uh, it's a cleaning closet. Inside are various supplies, such as trash bags. Alright, let's go... Find something. A plank of wood or something? Oh, here we go. This will work. Got a wooden plank. I like how, like, the piano plays when I pick stuff up. You know what I mean? Someone runs her fingers across the piano. Sit down the wooden plank. The art style of this is really nice, though. I really like it. We do stick out a, kind of in a weird way, but I feel like we're weird people, so I think it's fine. Can I steal something from your porch while I'm out here? The boxes are full of useless junk. All of them? I guess. Oh, well. Oh, that's not the party I was expecting. Oh, demons from hell, hear my plea. Oh, the unholy ones, I come seeking your advice. Nothing's happening. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. Uh, <laughs> what do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch TV? Who is this they? Why are we here? What kind of prison is this? Oh, well, I guess it's TV time, though. Uh, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Uh, what a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. I ha always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, woe is you. It is! Where are we gonna get batteries? Is this my room? No, this is the bathroom. My room, we share a room, I think. My room is his room. Maybe in our desk then? Oh, from this clock. You take the batteries out of the alarm clock. Got batteries. That alarm clock was n annoying anyways. We didn't need it. Let's shove these in the remote. Bunch of rented movies. Their due date passed ages ago, but what can you do? Are we dead? No. The guy, the warden said he doesn't deliver to dead people. Thank you kindly. Now praise me. Wow, amazing. You did such a bang up job. More. Oh, you heaven sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? No one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in awe. You should sit too. It's starting. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with, with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all apartments to which the tainted water has been delivered have been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered, and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. And the quarantine period for those who are at risk have has been extended by another two weeks. Again? And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting, parasite-infested bodies far, far away from me. Sorry. It's thank you for your continued consideration to public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. I'm going to bed. So, I guess we're diseased or something? 
he decided to do the same. I guess this is just quarantine then? Wait, Mom, where are you going? Me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought that they said we should stay at home until... I didn't drink anything. Mom? Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks you a needle in you. There we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay home? The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not... Then you'll get to see what happens if not. Hmm... That's all for now. Take care. Is this like COVID gone wrong or something? Stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear those lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing, and I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've gotta go. Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. Wow, Mom's a bitch! <laughs> Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Wait, so she totally knows! She said I'm sorry! She knows that this place is a shithole. <laughs> what the hell? Mom sucks. After reminiscing all night, you wake up, as one does. Instead of rem ruminating on your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Uh, picked up some laundry. Oh, I guess we're doing laundry. It looks like a little lump. And he's snoozing away. Uh, I guess we're just going on a laundry quest? Or can we clean the stain? You're not going to get this clean with your bare hands. Hmm. Well, we have some cleaning supplies in here. Why is there an alarm ticking? I thought we turned that off. It's going to drive me crazy. Uh, maybe the mop. Can I put the laundry in the washing? Need some more laundry. Okay. We have to collect more. I don't like the ticking. Can we turn it off? There's not even a clock here. How is this ticking? Ugh, that's so annoying. Whatever. Mop up this dirt. At least it's not blood. What else is there to take care of? Oh, we messed this all up. Clean up the books. There we go. We returned all the books to the shelf. Now what else can you clean? If we could find that alarm clock and break it, I'd be most happy. Hmm. Should be more laundry somewhere. Maybe this? There we go. Ugh. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? Uh, well, we didn't drink it, so we should have some, right? Yeah, we have some. You run the laundry. Oh, boy. The power's going out. <laughs> You're feeling dizzy. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I'm going out. That's what's happening. Damn it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. Oh yeah, we have like no energy. We have not been eating or drinking. We're gonna die. Good news once again. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been supply shortages in the quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of this has been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? Ugh. On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the contaminated apartments. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be administering bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. Excuse you? <laughs> Read that one again? <laughs> I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story. A brand new art museum will be... You drift back into unconsciousness. What about that bullet in my head? <laughs> You're too tired to get the phone. Oh, it's getting dark in here. Hello? Of course, what is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone's talking on the other end of the line, but you can't make out the words. 
They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, that's... I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but... No, or... I mean, yes, but that doesn't... No, I'm not angry. I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. <laughs> it's increasingly loud, but you can still you uh, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about you and don't let uh, Ashley and we've had to the time to think. Just can't anymore. So that's it then. Now it's quiet on both ends. Well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. Although I don't. Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for. Faint beep 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 on the dropped call can be heard. Ah. Ah. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Ooh, she dumped you? Why is that? What do you think? H how should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantined? Or because she found someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you all that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. Hmm. There might have been something more tactful to say. Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Is he still on the balcony? You wanna talk? Sorry. Don't leave me. We're the only ones here. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too! People are yelling from their windows and balconies. I need some help too! Please, please, I'm starving! Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. Oh. Well, maybe if we jumped and broke our legs, we could get into that ambulance real fast. Color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose her was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I think they'd bring me more food if I got per- Nope. <laughs> oh god. No, don't do that. You and your brother are the only ones here. We don't want that type of story. <laughs> how, how would you get pregnant otherwise? <laughs> don't do it, girl. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have w that one charming fellow right next door. Oh, okay, thank goodness. <laughs> Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows? He just might end you. Forget this. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyways. Whatever. It was just a thought. Jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway, but you're too exhausted. Well, I'm glad we didn't go down the route I thought this was going to go down. I forgot the neighbor existed. <laughs> but after sleeping for a few hours, or maybe a few days, who knows? You're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. Uh... <laughs> right. We're totally bursting with energy. Oh yeah, that's a lot of energy right there. Oh god, we're moving so slow. Oh god, we're dying. Oh, you silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make so much noise? Andrew, what the hell are you doing out there? What is he doing? He unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the other side somehow. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way! Says you, the delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Ugh. Yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang bang banging on the door, or next it'll be me banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Like, I didn't fuck this up for us, did I? Unlikely. Though I guess we'll see. And you did! 
And see you did. There was absolutely nothing was delivered. <sighs> Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. You'd think something would be happening to us by now. But I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Ugh, who cares? Me, Ashley. I care. Well, I don't. Care nor care that you care. What? <laughs> Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again. Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. I mean, couldn't they, like, tie together their bed sheets and, like, escape from the balcony? I mean, I know they're on the fourth floor, but I don't know. I feel like there's a way to get out of here. I mean, if you get enough clothes, and then, like, maybe if you get help from the people living below you, they might want to leave too, you know? You, like, get everybody's bed sheets out and you make one really big rope ladder and hope that you know how to climb a rope. <laughs> I don't know. Ooh, I'll race you. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go. Let's not, though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well. We've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off a balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you, if those are your plans for romance. Not romance, I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again? I wish he'd just... Oh. Sounds like he was successful this time. You feel like you should check up on that. <laughs> we summon in the dragon. Let's go! See what he's up to. Oh. My lord, you've come. And you're, uh, a little smaller than I imagined. <laughs> Don't tell him that. I, I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? Oh, um, I don't have much to give right now, but if you help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Ugh. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you! Perish. What? <laughs> Darkness clouds your vision, and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay a lifeless body of the cultist. Uh, uh, um, so, uh, am I delirious, or did you see that too? Do we, uh, do you want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to the rest of my life, listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're gonna die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's gotta be something this guy has that we can eat. Ooh, burglary time. Sh shut up and let's get in there. Doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. Let's go. Doorknob. Do we break into the window? How do we get in there? Doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. Uh... Do we go out the front door? And then? That doesn't make any sense. I thought we were locked in here, but you never know. I don't think so. How do we get over there? Doorknob taunts you. Maybe we need a brick or something. There we go. This'll do. Break that window. Hey, buddy. Let's turn that off. Thank you. Silence is ever so nice. That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. Oh boy, so this is where we're going. What? Out loud, apparently. <laughs> Though, I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, 
You know. Oh, you want to eat him? Isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. Uh, but we can't... If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime, too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food, though? And before that, you're gonna tell them a demon killed them? Really? That'll fly? Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we doing this or not? Uh... Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Uh, um... Y yeah. Alright then, let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, well there's the butchering knife, but I want to explore around a bit before we chop him up. The bathroom smells of feces, and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. Oh, that's gross. On the table sits a book titled, Demon Summoning for Dummy Dummies, Volume 666. <laughs> now, did they actually have 665 volumes before this one, or... She asks the important questions. But what I want to know is, who the hell wrote it in the first place? Undisclosed. The author must be shy. Well, either way, we can browse this later. Let's keep our focus on the task at hand. Hmm. Closet is big enough to hide in. That's weird. Maybe we're gonna have to hide. Hmm. Let's check his fridge. But the fridge and the freezer are empty. Oh. Alright, let's butcher him. Got a cleaver. It's just as locked as your door. Okay, here we go. Yum yum! So you get the arms and I'll handle the legs. First you chop off the cultists. Well, let's go for the righty. Next up is the left arm. Oh! We can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. No, can't you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meanwhile, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. Uh, well, I do remember seeing some bags somewhere. I think. Weren't they in here? Extra trash bags. There we go. Let's go say hi to our friend. How How's it going? <laughs> oh, okay, I've just picked it up. Small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap, I didn't think we can cut through the spine e I don't think we can cut through the spine either. Just fold them over? I- I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. Oh. Yeah, see? If anyone happens to be looking out their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags? Listen, that- this isn't going to- Ta-da! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh boy. G God, no. Don't make me laugh like this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. Alright, alright, enough. Gather the limbs and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso in the head in his freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. I mean, the siblings that murdered together stay together. Or is it the siblings that cannibalize together stay together? We're looking out for each other, and that's what matters, right? It's a wholesome story about siblings helping each other survive, right? Um, how do how does one cook a body? Wait, what was that? What's this little neuron? He placed the severed limbs in the freezer. Oh, that's what that is. Let's eat the, uh, what's gonna be the meatiest? An arm or a leg? Probably a leg. Let's go for the left leg. Alright, time to cook. I mean, thighs are pretty meaty, right? You fry some meat. Dinner's ready. Right, so what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Huh? What? Oh, you already... Okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um, alright. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. 
I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't! <laughs> Swallow? All of it. Uh, well, well, how is it? It's... Uh, God, I hate picky eaters. <laughs> I made this with love. So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll eat it, alright? Just give me a minute. Maybe put some salt on that. <laughs> Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Good boy, I'm so proud. Just fuck off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got very limited set of spices left. But what do you think I should try next? Uh, I don't know, maybe... maybe coriander? Alright, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night night. Yeah, good night. Aw oh, man, if only there was like a cooking mama mini game. That's what this needs. <laughs> hey Ashley, if we ever get out of here, you really should get your head checked. Huh? Just a thought. Sweet dreams. Yeah, I probably deserve that. But can you imagine a cooking mama game where you cook up bodies? I feel like that could be really something. You fall asleep, fully content with your life decisions. I mean, we've made some pretty good decisions, right? Said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So, are you gonna be her boyfriend? Gross, no. <laughs> I should tell her, teach her a lesson. You're my brother, mine. Are we like a, what's it, a brocon, siscon? <laughs> I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> someone you don't count as a lady in my ma mind, or as someone as a person for that matter. Screw you! I'm the most personiest lady in the world. So anyway, I'm gonna take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of those crates. Yeah, yeah. Seriously, mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. <laughs> you should ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lele, I don't want to. Let's go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'll help me with anything. I thought she was your friend. Well, I thought so too. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder of how to do it proper. We'll get in trouble. Only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Ah. Do it, Andy. I guess. Oh, we are a terrible influence. <laughs> Hooray! You're the best! Today's episode is titled Andy and Lele and the Bitch in the Box. <laughs> One day you'll be a bitch in the box and your friends will take turns pissing on the grounds above. What do I do about these hussies around you? <laughs> Where did you learn these words? The bitch is you. <laughs> I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back in the box with you. I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. Wow, we are certainly... Strongly... <laughs> we're, we're an asshole. <laughs> what is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plan, would he? We are the most annoying little child. <laughs> Finally! Huh? What? What are you doing here? Surprise! I want to hang too. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's fine. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No. Why? <laughs> Just wondering. No worries. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with the boy. No way. She thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What's that even mean? It means she's full of crap. Don't listen. So are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I allow it. Let's find a way in right now. Oh, I am a special little... Special little jerk. It's probably in here, right? Why'd they nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect. Tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As in, I literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools, at least. 
Huh, even though it's this flimsy? Ugh, yes. I, I like the smart guys over beefy ones. <laughs> Stay out of this, kid. <laughs> Who asked? Oh, you're not gonna want to open this, lady. You use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. In we go. <laughs> well, wow, it sure is <coughs> kind of dusty here. Makes me worry about my asthma. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? Uh, you're such a kid. Huh? Andy wants to play too. You do? What? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. Simp. <laughs> you totally wanted to play too, you child. I'll, I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. Hundred. Count to hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two. Alright, let's go find a good po box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course, she said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Lele, you promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Is it this treasure chest right here? It's got a lock on it. <laughs> oh, now this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't! Place a stick on or, or something between the rings. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No, well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'd have the leverage to. Ready or not, here I come! Aw, oh, crap, she counts too fast. I wasn't expecting that fast, really. Ah, uh, let's hide, hide! Uh, in the closet? There's a closet over here. Where do we get a stick, anyway? And he picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this'll do. Uh... Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? No! Who do you think, dumbass? Uh, sh she's fine, I guess. Uh... Oh boy. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Found you! Both of you. Who hides in the same spot, idiots? <laughs> it, I, it was my spot first. Then you're it. No way, Andy stole my spot, so he is it. Yes, yes, I'll go count. Andy goes to count outside. <laughs> my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. Um, okay. Oh, girly, this is your end. She's gonna die in here. Think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boohoo, who cares? My mom does, she'll get mad if I... Hundred. Oh, shoot, he's coming, hurry, hurry. Uh, uh, okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside the crate. Oh. Huh? <laughs> huh? What was that? <laughs> I got you now. Oh, God. <laughs> it's too weak to throw you off the lid. <laughs> this isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy, you slow poke. Hurry up. She's putting up a fight. <laughs> I can't breathe. <coughs> Is she all right? <coughs> Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lele. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from some dust. <laughs> Come on, just let her out. What, you th you'll believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? <laughs> Everyone likes her better, but you like her better too. But everybody does. Are you already know? <laughs> I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you. I don't want... And bet, <laughs> bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's, I mean, maybe she did, but... <laughs> it's, it's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying, and no one likes me at all. I like you better, Lele. Prove it, liar. You got the alligator tears out. <laughs> I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so... 
Not even my own brother picks me over her. I knew it already. Did I not just say, la la la, talk shirt is cheap. God damn it. <laughs> there, are you happy now? <laughs> yes. Just until morning, okay? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, yes, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. We're little murderers. You hear that? You get to stay there until morning. No, please. <coughs> Ashley, let me out, please. <coughs> Ashley, wait, don't <coughs> go. Ashley, please. Ashley. Ashley, are you awake? I am now. Um, okay. What is it? Nothing, it's just... God, what the fuck do we, did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? We're a little psychopath. Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy, so I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse. What else were we supposed to do? Call the warden and let him know he died? Ah, uh, yes. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah, I I wouldn't have had... Uh, I, we wouldn't have had to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? What, what the hell? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullshit. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I, uh, whoosh whoosh, there goes my magic wand. There, I've absolved you of your sins, and you never took a bite now. You're welcome. Ugh, well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Ugh. Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First they lock us up in here for months, and then they won't even feed us. And then, is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. Ugh. There, there, there. You know, I... I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too... Uh, anyway, I kind of just... Uh, like I kept cutting around and then uh, pulled it off. Like some plant. I, I don't know. I keep thinking about it. Oh, that's terrifying. <laughs> uh, I can't fucking sleep, Ashley. It's... Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know, I compartmentalize. Kind of like how we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Ashley! <laughs> Andrew, what is it, Andrew? 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 Andy? <laughs> I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you still crying like a baby? I'm not crying! Well, well, mommy, the, this big bad me did a, the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. <laughs> Make me a little bitch. Ah, forget this. Hey, Andy, remember when we used to be, go on adventures? What? Andy and Lele's quest for something or another, remember? Why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation, then we can unpack it all later. Or not, I don't think I will, personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I could tell a therapist what we've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Let's get out of here. Like, we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep wa waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. They'll throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house, or getting railed in prison. Ah, so you won't escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled, Andy and Lele, and the escape from the coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night, sleep tight. I'll try. Good night.
I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ass already. My god, I don't love you that much. <laughs> oh, you make me want to kill myself. <laughs> too bad driving down the balcony is just too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you can see stars. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. <laughs> this game is very... <laughs> well, it's interesting. They have a very interesting dynamic, these two. <laughs> Where'd he go? Did he leave me here? Andrew? I mean, out of the two of us, I'm definitely the more mur murdery of the two, right? I am definitely a psychopath. Oh, you're just chillin'. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for the cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway, it says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take you want to ask one of ask one to get us out of here. Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultist did. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So what will we ask it then? I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's gotta be that. Where to get a soul while stuck in here? Hmm. What are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Oh god, are we gonna sacrifice our brother? Don't do it. He's the better of us. <laughs> don't do it. Ashley. What? I wouldn't. <laughs> Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts on my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on, I'm not gonna sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set up a ritual for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start replacing the candles for now. Uh, ow. Two candles. One candle. These ones are melted, though. Oh, okay, we just need to set them up where they were. I see. We don't need to light the candle holders. Now what? Done. What now? Now we... Huh? Uh-oh. Uh, still alive and kicking, are you? Duh. You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Uh... <laughs> uh. Yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The weirdo one. I think he croaked. But he's just a B-type anyway. Ugh, fine. I'll check it out after my round. The footsteps, uh, warden's footsteps move away from the door. Is that, is that all we would have had to do? Get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit, he's gonna come in and see all this. No, 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 no. Enough, go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. I, he's still gonna find the guy missing. Unless he checks the freezer, which is where all this blood is pointing at. No. <laughs> Go, before he notices we're not home. And keep him until I've mopped up all the blood. Maybe he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get to be th you get to be the that corpse if you don't get going. Ugh, I, <laughs> I can talk, I promise. What do we do? Do a ritual? Take the body? I have no idea. Uh, oh, get the mop. Right. Um, actually, I was thinking, couldn't we have just taken the boombox and just turned it on? And then made it seem like he was in there? Whatever. We'll just go over there. <laughs> I, I bet it, I wonder if it's an option, though. Can I turn this on? No. Oh well. We'll just clean up the blood. No one will ever know. In fact, can we clean up the Satan circle while we're at it? But maybe we still need that. Ashley, the warden's coming. Let's go. Uh, huh? What are you doing here? Oh, shoot. Sadly, the warden calls soon calls over his buddy. You get taken back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. 
Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm gonna let you try again. Oh, okay, cool. The warden is coming. Um, where am I gonna hide? In here? No. <laughs> what do I do? Damn it. Oh, wait, no, I can hide in the closet. Right. I forgot about that. Here we go. You hid in the closet successfully. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anybody home? Meh. Oh great, another suicide. Uh-oh. No, no, no. What the? How did you get in here? Oh! Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell them that none of this is your fault. <laughs> Come on then, Lele. Let's go play. Oh yeah, the door is open now. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. Oh, the warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was a little surprised there. <laughs> so, where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. I... <laughs> Ooh, looky here. Ooh, got the key to room 405. Oh, is that our room? Let's leave through ours, then. Let's just get out of here. Oh, no? Is it not? Maybe it was that other room. Oh, yeah, that makes sense, because he was coming into this room. Although you'd think he'd have keys to everybody's room if he's the warden. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. At last, you unlock the door and... Huh? Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same pa page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw-up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, f grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word about what w went down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something once this guy shifts in and the next warden comes to look around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, I see. I'm not sure you're gra grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to find mom and dad. But I'm saying all this is off the table. I haven't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. <laughs> okay, I, okay. so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Yes, exactly. But yeah, fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about it, is, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? Oh boy. I am not going to jail just because, uh, just because you think of yourself as impervious to the consequences. You're going to take this all to your grave, even if I have to put you in there myself. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, in snow's hell, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the fuck off. Who do you think you're talking to? Ugh. Mm, it's, I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's a half-dead guy in our freezer, and with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I am no hurry to tell the world about it. Ah. Uh, hmm, all good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy? What? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad, or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it necessary to even answer my calls. Or come fling food up to our balcony. Would be quite the feat to throw something so high. 
The point is no one even came to try. So my affections officially died with the last brain cells I lost whilst- with all the brain cells I lost while starving. <laughs> but it's alright because Andy is here with me. Even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Uh, sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> alright, alright, let's get the hell out of here already. Oh, <laughs> I like our little mat. <laughs> Fuck off. This is all it took to keep us in? A wooden board? It's okay, Andy. I don't have much muscle either. Your eyes say you're trying to comfort me, but your words do the opposite. Ah, whatever. What's this piece slip of paper say? The paper taped to the door reads, 2XAB. Our blood type? What's that supposed to mean? Don't know, don't care. Yeah, let's just focus on getting out of here. Unblock the door. Well, I don't see any reason to go back in there. 2A1XB. Hmm. 1XO. It's crossed over. Maybe they're dead? What's in 401? Their door is just open. And how did Satan Circle get outside the room? I didn't want to go back inside. That's weird. Oh, a key. Oh, maybe this is the warden's room. Oh yeah, there's keys everywhere. Looks like they've got a, surve a little surveillance camera. Oh crap, are we on it? No, looks like it's recording the second floor. Huh? Let me see. Oh, great. There's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's sh go shoot this guy. Nope, he only had a key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. Ah. Hmm. Think there's a warden on every floor? Nah, they probably only work in pairs of two. It's not like they have done anything else to keep the curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. Fourth floor key. Hmm. Various documents detailing selling and acquiring of organs. Huh? I sincerely don't care. Let's just get out of here, please. I'm working on it, goddammit. I care. What's that all about? Food? Don't in the fridge reads. Notice, from now on, AB types won't be given supplies, except if it's someone important. Wait, that's us. <laughs> and no, the lady from 302 being hot doesn't count as important. Stop asking. <laughs> What's she look like? Half-eaten cup of noodles. Put that in her mouth. Hmm. Uh, it's the toilet. There's nothing of interest inside. Oh, can we take the jacket? Dress up like a warden? Guess not. What did we get? The room of 402? No? I guess not either room. Oh, there's another room at the end of the hall, though. Is there anything in the plant? I feel like that would be a place to hide something. Plastic plant. Okay, guess not. Anything under the rug? Oh, damn it. I didn't want to go inside. Nope. Nope, nope. Can we just go down the stairs? I don't know. 405302. We should save. Let's go. Third floor. 302. What's this one? AX1, but it's crossed over. She looks dead. Hey, 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 hold up. Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs? What are you doing here? Get out! Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here? You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? Why don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and I can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait. They actually bring you food? I wonder if she's playing Animal Crossing. Of course, literally anything I want. All you gotta do is ask nicely. Isn't she the hot one? Like, bend over and open wide nicely? <laughs> Ashley! <laughs> Fuck you, get out, both of you. Isn't she the hot one that they're saying to stop giving things to all the time? The fridge is full of food. Damn. Hey, did I give you permission to go in there? No, but it's not like you can stop me. Looks like someone gave up assembling their furniture. 
This is injustice. Injustice at its finest. Hmm. Well, that was something. How come we get such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not. But you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and shoots us. Ugh, this is so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Uh, well... If we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we can go... We've got a soul to offer. Oh! How on earth are we gonna get, convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish up setting up the ritual for now. Alright. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Does she really have a thing for her brother? <laughs> or something like that? Oh, come on. So ugly- oh, to be fed, I forgot about that. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw you while I'm loitering around the house? Oh, yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. Hmm. I'm not sure about the relationship. Gnome door says 2xp. <clears throat> I know the game's getting a little long because we reached an hour, but... Uh, on the webpage, it said the game's only 60 minutes, so I feel like it'll be over any minute now. I'm guessing it's gonna end after we get the ritual going, right? So how do we set this up? So what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes, though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. That seemed to work. Oh yeah, let's take some blood. Borrow it. Double check if the warden has a gun tucked away somewhere. But all you can find is a walkie-talkie. Useless. I don't know, at least we'll hear if the other warden tries to contact this one. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal, at this point we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over here with this and then have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone. Though he'll come in guns blazing. Oh, right. Uh, let me think. Got walkie-talkie. Well, he's at it. Dip your fingers into the dead warden's wound. Got blood. I need a drink of water. Hold on a minute. <laughs> okay. Let's draw some runes. Boop. Bop. Beep. And bop. I have an idea. Oh? Let's have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And, uh, how are we gonna make her do that? You know how. Huh. Alright then. Let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. But I think it's best to do that once the warden's on his way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Alright, let's go... Let's go ask her nicely. The nicest way I know how. Lady. I need to borrow you. You two again? Sorry, sorry. There's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What? I thought I made myself clear. Time to kill her. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off of me! <laughs> What's going to happen now is that you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Huh? Tell him that you and your and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, no, please, I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. <laughs> Hello? Huh? Who's there? Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Um, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh... Care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm disgusted. <laughs> Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um... <laughs> nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. So they were doing it. <laughs> you cut the conversation there. Alright, good. Let's go. I let go of her now. What do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise. 
Go finish it. I'll keep her here. Keep her quiet until it's done. Ugh. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. <laughs> oh yeah, almost forgot. Lele, catch. Andrew throws you something. Got lighter. You hurry up to finish the ritual. <laughs> Let's do this. Light him up. Light him up. up, up. Light him up. up, up. Light him up. up, up. I'm on fire. Turn on the auto? Yeah. So what am I supposed to do? Oh. Ah, something is here. Who are you? I can't see. You are asking me my name, human? Uh... What do you offer? Ugh, yikes, did I mess that up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? And I'm not doing it with this kind of music on. Let's... Uh. Shock the warden reaches for his gun. Ah, him! I offer him! What? What the? <laughs> oh. <laughs> now we have two dead bodies. So, uh... Well, how was it? <laughs> Human with tar-colored soul, I give you this. Well, at least we know our soul is as dark as I imagined. Got unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream to gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you. Well, that's great. The entity has left. And you're still alive, unlike either of the wardens. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor to ask it for a favor. It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was laying around in the demon's pockets. But no matter, the warden is dead, and if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that's, that'd be cool as hell. Decide not to linger on the fact that your soul is apparently a vicious pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. I mean, yeah, kinda. Well, don't just fucking leave. Check the warden's pockets. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Got the key to the second floor. Got gun. Nice. At last, time to shoot Andy. What? Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady, though. <laughs> You're evil. But we could totally just leave now, you know? You don't have to shoot nobody. No more. You could just walk right out of here, I think. There's only two of them. Oh, you killed her. Sadly, your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Uh, I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah, and here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I get risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. <laughs> Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. <laughs> That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. <sighs> okay, that makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Fucking every time. Every time indeed. <laughs> every time some fucking floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not a celibate. What's it to you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your dick in some bitch, and then the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, Cockbrain. Now is definitely not the time for this. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My pri priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. Blow it out your ass, I'm not having this argument here of all places. I... No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor's lady. And on that note, will you go- will you back the fuck off my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What, she told you? What a tattletale. You're better off with the- with that- you're better off without loose lift whores like that. So it really was you. Yeah, all I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. 
And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullshit crisis the, uh, the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. You bet you bloody love it here, which I can't take as much as, uh, uh, where I can't take as much as a, uh, I can't read. But you bloody love it here, where I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. <laughs> and I bet I, I bet you'd love it if I killed myself then. Where'd that come from? I, fuck, whatever prime example of you or you, just you. <laughs> you would, you would, I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can, just for you. You know, I have just the thing for that. Back at your beck and call, just like it was way back when. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm a bad guy here. I never once made you do anything, but it's always, I don't want to, I don't want to, with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see, if you have just listened to a word I'd said, you'd know I... What? Why, you don't want to spend time with me anymore? I'm not- I've done nothing but spent time with you for the past three months. So then we aren't friends anymore? Uh, of course we are, just- uh, Forget this, can we go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then, I'm going. Oh no you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you, isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What, talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us up in here. I didn't kill the cultist. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did. And the demon. I'm all innocent. I've never harmed a single soul. Of course not. You made me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped that bastard up all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock in that crate where that fucking cunt choked. <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy, my poor Andy. So, that just came out of your mouth. <laughs> what? It's true. You chose to do it, and you chose me. You chose me. Me. You backpedaling fuck of a brother. You chose me. You did. You did. Ah. So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. <laughs> you won't. You can't, cuz I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night and you can't take it, I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that, when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like... I would like to go now. With Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like... did? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you. Can we go? I'd like to go too. But the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now, and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said there are sleeping pills for that. Uh, yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though, if you plan on ditching me anyway, then fuck you. <laughs> it's, if it's not just going to be just the two of us, then forget it. <sighs> I don't give a shit about blank. <laughs> I'm glad she choked. I know you are. No one knows it was us, so does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. <laughs> That's right, our quest continues. What, we, what did we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not going to be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hate Lele like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay and die here with Andy, so you and I can leave. Uh, fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. 
Yeah, I've got keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. They're crazy together. These freaking weirdos. Let's get out of here. Please. Well, everything's locked up. Although that one has a note on it that's bigger than the others. I should probably look at them all, though. Oh, I guess not. Alright, then... I guess we can just go. Right? Nothing else in this place? Alright, let's get out of this place. Ah, look, an open window. Great, jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. Oh, I guess we're not on the first floor yet. Oops. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Damn it. Isn't there like a rope or something we can use to climb down? Now nah, let's just go this way. Go to... Oh, where's the first floor? Huh? There's no first floor? Do I have keys to a different... Oops. Ah, uh, whatever. Uh, F2 key. To where? Must be somewhere on this floor. No? Hmm. I just want to leave. Where do we go? Can we use this? This giant carpet on the ground? What if we climb down the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're going to secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh yeah, and then I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead. Hell no it won't. We've got to set up something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Well, let's just leave it by the window for now. Got carpet. Can we use a sofa? Tie it to the sofa? Could I use a nail gun to nail it to the... The wall or something? That doesn't seem very stable. Okay, well that's the plan. <laughs> this doesn't seem like a very good plan, but whatever. Can I do it now? Yep. The two of you used a nail gun to nail the carpet onto the wall. Doesn't look safe. There has to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. Alright, you first then. Damn right I go first. I am a lady. You climb down very unladylike. Are we good? I mean, we're out, right? Well, where do we go? There we go. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town and then find a buffet restaurant. Ooh. Then we'll steal someone's identity so or continue or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then, as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. <sighs> Good god, I have no idea what we're gonna do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town and the buffet. Let's go to a real tourist location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere too. I- even then, I don't think that's going to- Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll work out. At least we live under a bridge or something. Like trolls. We'll eat those who won't pay the toll to cross. <laughs> how can you laugh? It's anything but funny. Oh, how can you do anything but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. <laughs> Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of there, too. And otherwise? I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. I, it would be handy for when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Hmm... Stuck, huh? Are you? Oh yeah, completely stuck. <laughs> you get on the bus and drive the hell out of here. 
Vroom vroom, motherfucker. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Thanks for playing. That was something. <laughs> so that's the game. Uh, they're awful people, especially Ashley. And Andrew, I mean, he is awful in his own in his own way. He did kill two people, but you know, I between the two of them, I, I she's still she's still more evil than him. <laughs> and also, they have a really weird relationship. They're oh, she's a little too close for siblings it's kind of weird <laughs> but um with being trapped in the apartments like i don't think they actually have anything wrong with them do they it sounded like they were being kept there for testing right i don't know suspicious very suspicious but let me know what you think of the game down in the comments below and i will see you in the next one this is casper kuma over and out